here's a little quiz, quick quiz <laughs> on setting versus stimulus events. Sometimes they're one and the same, but uh, uh, let's see, let's see how well we do. Joni, would you think a medication change would be a setting event or a stimulus <laughs> event? <laughs> well, I would probably classify that basically as a setting event. I would agree. Most medication isn't instantaneous unless it's like a direct shot or something, but I would okay. say that was a setting event. Okay. Um, you're listening to your iPod, but it's time to work, and I request you to stop listening um, and... Uh, I don't you want really to. like it, and I don't want to. You act out, and I <laughs> bet that's a stimulus event, right? <laughs> right. Okay. Right. Unexpected change in job, Coach Joni mentioned that a minute ago, and that could be a setting event or or a stimulus event, don't yeah, you think? Either one. Yeah. The it, oh, go ahead. It's probably going to be a uh, a, sti a trigger. It's probably going to be a trigger, unless you've warned the person ahead of time Good point. that there's going to be a new person here tomorrow and um you know miss smith has left on her maternity leave or whatever that made the co job coach change and if i know i'm going to have a new job coach i probably can handle it when you introduce me to her but it might be after I've worked with her for a little while, she doesn't do things the same way as the other one did. <laughs> and uh, I might not be able to cope so well. And, and that warning ahead of time, that's called antecedent control or antecedent manipulation. That means that you can change what's going on in the environment and maybe change or eliminate the, the probability that that behavior will occur. And that's something that you really need to be aware of. What can I do ahead of time to make it uh, less likely that a behavior is going to occur? Yeah. Ever ever been a, a, at a home or at a desk or in, a, in an area somewhere where the light keeps flickering, just flickers a little bit overhead once in a while, or maybe it just has a regular flicker to it? If I go to a conference or something and one of the bulbs above me flickers every once in a while, I'm not going to sit there very long. But that's something that I would consider as... Probably a stimulus event. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you well. might be able to handle it for a little while before you jumped up and ran screaming out of the room, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> chances are you see the flicker, you're out of there. Change in weather, perhaps allergy season. That, again, that would be a setting event. That front coming through, the barometric pressure and, you know, the wind blowing it, that's all sets you up to not behave in the same way as if all that wasn't happening. And family life changes are the same thing. It would be a setting event, not so much a trigger. Absolutely.